Damn! That's a big ass damn bag of ice, bro. Do we consume or do we produce? Are you just a person that consume? Well, all you do is wake up and go stand in line for a pair of Michael Jordans? How long you stand in line to get some money? Woo! Truce in the building. <laughs> Alright, look, before I even kick this off, I'm gonna let y'all know, stick around to the end. I got this really funny story that happened to me today. Something crazy happens to me every day. It's not crypto related, but I'll share that with y'all when I get there. So as y'all know, remember I said I was gonna step my paraphernalia game up. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Had to go ahead and cop that uh, mouse pad for Bitcoin. Now look, let me let me let me show y'all something about this. This is interchangeable, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now see, well, oh, you know what? I don't even like it because this this is the market going down. We we don't we don't want that. Let me let me let me. Uh, woo -hoo! Yeah, there you go. Market's going up. We good. You know what I'm saying? If we go a parabolic, it's like this. Woo! -hoo! Look at that. Yeah. Now, if we like had that crash that we had, it's actually gonna be like like this. Like, hey, let's going down backwards, like. <laughs> you know so I think when I'm sitting here on my computer, I think what I'm gonna do is, like right now we got a pump, you know what I'm saying? This is gonna set the sentiment. Right now we got a little pump, you know what I'm saying? We get a little drop, we like this. What if we like this? What that mean, like sideways? Like, okay. So that's my product review. Matter of fact, you know what's crazy? I don't even wanna use that. Look at my old one. It's gonna start looking like this one. Like, y'all can't see, ooh, ugh, ooh. Maybe I use that on the good days, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So anybody want to buy this for 4,000? Oh, dang, oh, hey. Oh. If Bitcoin go to zero, you just take it and you just you just flip it like this and you get it. How y'all feel about that 51% attack on ETC? <laughs> that Ethereum Classic. Damn, why am I laughing? Like, do I own any of that? No, uh, okay, I'm good. So I can joke on that ass. All right, anyway, I'm not a news station. I'm not a news channel, but I'm hearing on the street, word on the street, them boys got split 51%, dog. Got to be more careful, Jack. Imagine getting a fifty-one percent attack on your house. Like, what the? Did y'all hear that? Yo, my door just closed all by itself. Where my pistol at, man? I can't. What the? Hello? Ethereum? Ethereum hard fork? Are you in there? Mm. All right. So my story real quick, cause I gotta tell y'all this. I'm about to burn my food real. Quick. Matter of fact, hold up. Yeah, I'm cooking blood. <laughs> I almost dropped my phone into the skillet. I almost had an iPhone burrito going on. A quick backstory real quick so y'all understand where I'm coming from. So earlier today, I had this conversation with my friend. I'm gonna try and make this as quick as I can. I had this conversation with my friend earlier today about how I never give money to the poor. And the reason why is because I personally feel after the books and stuff that I've read that giving money to the poor only creates a crutch for them, right? Like it further handicaps them. It makes them feel like, oh, this is okay and I'm good. You're kind of keeping them in the situation that they're in now. Instead of doing that, what I do is I try to talk to them you know, see how they got there, see if I could trigger something in them to change their life, that, to actually help them, right? And I also feel that no man on this planet should starve, so I will buy a homeless person food and stuff like that if they're hungry. So, I'm having this huge conversation about that with my friend earlier today, right? She on my back, like, oh, you're an asshole, and you wouldn't give a person some no money and all that, blah, blah, blah. So now it's on my mind. I'm like, okay. I go to Food Lion, I'm walking down the aisles, I'm looking left, looking right, doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? The honey's checking me out, you know what I'm saying? It's like, no, nah, there wasn't nobody in there. But anyway, I see this guy dressed in all black. He looked kind of scruffy or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay. He's coming down the aisle drinking a soda. Now, in Food Lion, if you're in the grocery store like that, you're probably not going to drink something before you pay for it. Unless you're me, because I do that all the time. Trust me. Yes, I'm that guy. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Maybe he's savage like me, certified beast. I go up the other aisle and I look over and I'm like, yo, that dude is reaching like, he's like reaching in all the aisles with like in all the shelves. I'm like, damn. And now, cause what my friend said, I'm like, is, is he hungry? Like, is that a bum? Or I don't know. So I'm like, okay, all right, let me, let me, let me double back and see, okay, what's this dude doing? Every time I double back, he's reaching in the aisle. One time I looked over and it was like a two liter of soda and some syrup on the ground. I'm like, I'm like, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna do the right thing. I don't give him no money, but you know what I said? In my head, I'm gonna go up to him and whatever he wants to eat, whatever he wanna buy, as far as food, I'm gonna buy it for him. I'm gonna buy him whatever food he want. Like, he gonna eat good tonight, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna look out. So now I'm like, damn, all right. How do I approach this guy? Like, I don't wanna offend him. I don't know his situation, all this. 
I'm like, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to him and be like, hey man, excuse me, bro. Like, I don't mean no offense or nothing like that, but like, if you need something, like, are you hungry? Are you like, what's going on? You good? Like, if you need something, like, I got you. And I was getting my hands ready just in case you wanted some problems because you don't ever know what you're going to encounter in these days. Anyway, I go, I do one more pass, and he's down there reaching in the aisles, and I'm like, what the? So I double back, I go on the opposite aisle, I come down the aisle, and I'm going to turn to talk to him because he's at the end of that aisle. When I get to the end of that aisle, one of the staff workers there, one of the employees, was standing by the cash register looking down that aisle as if he was a security. Like, you know, he like he's got his eyes on the guy like, yo, what that dude doing? So when I see the employee looking at him, I'm like, damn, like they about to get his ass. Like they about to, like they looking like, yo, this dude's stealing, like we about to kick him out of the store. That stopped me from turning and talking to the guy. So I said, you know what, I ain't worried about it. Let me just go ahead and pay for my stuff and then I'll see what's going on. I step to the cash register and I turn to the employee and I say, hey, psst, hey, yo, are you looking at that guy right there? Like, is he homeless? Like, what, like, you know, are you looking at the guy down the aisle? Come on, girl, he was like, what guy, what are you talking about? I was like, yo, it ain't a guy right there in all black. He was like, he looked, he looking around, he like, no, I don't see nobody. I'm like, okay, well, maybe I made a mistake. Look, check the next aisle. I think it's a, a guy over there. He keep reaching in the aisle and stuff like that. Like, I think he need, I think he hungry, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna buy something to eat. He was like, okay, hold on, I'll be right back. So he stepped over, the employee stepped over and looked down the other aisle. He looked back at me like, no, wait, I don't I don't see anybody. And I'm like, damn, the dude gone. I said, whatever. I turned, I started paying for my stuff. I turned to the left, just out of coincidence. And here comes a guy in all black coming up that aisle. I'm like, yo, that's him. I ain't say that out loud, but I'm like, yo, that's him. I looked right at him, he looked me right in my eye. I look down at his chest. He's got a food line employee badge on. The motherfucker was the employee he worked there, dog. <laughs> Yo, I was like, oh my god. I almost just offered to buy food for a food line employee, dog. I was like, man, you know what? I'm fucking done. Now I'm not gonna never buy no homeless person no food no more. It's like, no, I'm just playing. Y'all know me. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Cheers.